Welcome to another exciting episode. Today we're diving into the Wu Wei Mansion Guards, the ultimate meta breaker and one of the most formidable units you can acquire. These bad boys can easily counter a wide variety of other units, except for the Queen Knights, but don't worry, I'll explain that part in just a moment. Now let's address the burning question you've all been waiting for. Which veterancy line should you choose? The answer is simple, go for the first line. The last node in the bottom line is quite specific, requiring the enemy unit to charge at you. And let's be honest, timing both skills perfectly when an enemy is charging is no easy task. So it's better to opt for the bleeding effect in the last node of the upper line. It's a more fair and reliable option. With that settled, let's not forget that, like any Chinese unit, the Wu Wei Mansion Guards have a set of specific doctrines that can make them even stronger. Consider stacking doctrines for damage and healing, or if you're lucky enough to have one, the damage reduction doctrine. Now let's talk about counters. These guards excel in defeating shields and other special units. In fact, 99% of melee units will lose in a one-on-one -on -one situation against them. They have the power. Here's a special note to keep in mind. The second skill of the mansion guards can knock back heroes, effectively canceling their skills and ultimates. Timing is everything here. Additionally, if you're skilled enough, you can even stop charging cavalry with a well-timed second skill. But remember, it's a challenging move to pull off. Now, let's discuss their weakness against the Queen Knights. Why do the Queen Knights counter them with ease? It's quite simple. The Wu Wei Mansion Guards have only one combo. They use their first skill, and within three seconds, they have to press the second skill. They have no other option. This predictability is where the Queen Knights strike to counter the mansion guards with the queen knights all you need to do is engage with the second skill forcing them into a fight then wait for a brief moment around one or two seconds and unleash the queen knight's own skill this clever tactic allows the queen knights to negate all the incoming damage from the wu wei sweep and annihilate them as you can see it's a straightforward strategy and many opponents fall for it, especially considering that the Queen Knight's first skill has a cooldown of only 7 seconds, which is lower than that of the Wu Wei Mansion Guards. And with that, we conclude our video. I hope you found it useful and gained valuable insights into this incredible unit. If you enjoyed this content and want to see more, don't forget to leave a like. Until next time, Warlord! Das